What is going on everyone? Deejus here with another Advanced Forge by Web replay analysis. Today is the continuation of the Deej Trials and Tribulations going through the Discord 11 Cup. For those of you who hasn't followed the series, uh, this cup started off in July 2022, so quite a while ago with 128 entrants. Some very strong players including Tordred, Starflash, Go7, Toulouse, you name them. Very strong players. Rhymer, of course, is one of them. 128 players. Man, this has been going on for so long. I beat Casco in the first round. Then I barely got past X Rumbling X in the second round. Squeezed by Pukaduku after 35 days in Advance Wars game. I think I won by uh, capture limit. Raider Arcara Man, that video is on the channel. That was nutty. Soth after that with the artillery beginning. And now the continuation. The semi-finals. Winner advances to the finals. And they up and the fruit and the winner gets to face either Toulouse or Dead FS. Both of which have won a Discord Cup before. So they are going to, whoever wins that is probably going to be a, the favorite, to be perfectly honest, against me or Rhymer. Uh, so this cup has been going for on for a while. A lot of emotions. I've been trying really hard on this cup. For some reason, I just, this cup, I've been putting a lot of energy into it more than in the Global League, more than any other cups. So I really take this cup seriously. Anyway, so this is the my final round. In the map right here, I believe it's called Mestrik Maer. Mystery my air. Something German, I don't even know. But it's it's a two base map. Two simple little bases in an airport. And a port, but you're not gonna be using the port. Let's be real with ourselves. Low income map. Now I'm not gonna make y'all count how many cities there are, but if you cut it down the middle, each person gets equal amount of cities, you're gonna have 16K in income. Why is that important? Those of you who follow my videos know that 17 is the magic number in two-base map. 17k. Now, why is that? The reason being, two bases in an airport. 17k allows you to get copter, tank, infantry every turn. Copter, tank, infantry. Copter, tank, infantry. Don't forget 17k when you have two bases in one airport. 18k if you do have three bases. So you're not going to get that 17k unless you get the income advantage. For that reason, this is a low income map. You're not gonna see as many units as normal. A lot of roads, a lot of aggression, a lot of shoals, a lot of roads, a few mountains, perhaps this pipe seam over here that you could elect to blast through, but you're not gonna do it on the early game. So you're probably gonna have to wrap around over here. There's a lot of roads. There's two comp towers. Both comp towers are slightly contested, but black should control this one and red should control this one. So goes without saying since there is force in this base slowing down the forces slogging through especially with vehicles tanks with tires or treads they're going to be worn down going this route so typically the strong side will be the roadie route uh, and you also well you also have some of the airports to help out with your weak side anyway the reason being i chose max is because of the low income i want to beat the shit out of evil or beat out the shit out of any co in general I actually practiced on this map as Eagle, and it didn't go too well. Eagle needs to build up forces in order to be good, but when you have low income, that doesn't quite work as well as usual. 16k a turn's not so great, and that's assuming you get equal income. If you're versus Max, you're probably going to get be around 15k maybe, 14k maybe. Max is powerful. Max blasts. Max smashes. And look at all these roads. Recon are viable. Tanks, of course, are always viable. Copters are great. Get 17k as max. Ooh, you're looking good, even against Eagle. What is Eagle's play on this map? Artillery are not particularly good. Maybe to bust open this pipe scene, but otherwise, you want to stack as many copters as you can, as many tanks as you can. Hold on to your superpower as long as humanly possible, then unleash it. Unleash it when you have at least 30 units on the map, ideally as Eagle. The more unit count you have before you pop your superpower, the better. Doesn't matter, you can be passive, you can give up some cities if it allows you to have a stronger superpower later. A lot of people go into Eagle matchups versus Max or Eagle in general, and then they just keep attacking, like they're pretending like they're a normal CEO, like Olaf or Max. No, you have to be more passive. Build up your forces. You don't wanna be on the offensive, you wanna be on the defensive, but not passive. You wanna be on a feisty little defense. It's kinda a balancing act. That, therefore, Eagle does have a higher skill uh, uh, bottom. So for that reason, 
Max, I think, is better on this map. But Reimer, very competent player. He is Nightmare of Hianku. He's number one on Fog. He's been number one on Fog before. He's very strong in Standard as well. Very strong player. Very, very strong player. So I wasn't going to take him lightly. I tried out Eagle. Didn't work out for me. Now I'm going for Max. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into this game because it's it wasn't short. Let's put it that way. So I start off on the left. And the red or the orange star arm. I don't know why it's called orange star when they're red, but maybe they're afraid of making it sound communist if they're like the red army or something. Anyway, I actually opt to go for the early day three recon. I wanna get some beep beeps going. I wanna make my beepers go down here, prevent this, prevent this, prevent these. These three, maybe even this one over here, these four, I wanna prevent with this recon. And he couldn't do his own recon over here, but it's not as strong. First off, he's Eagle, so it's not going to knock down my infantry. Say he attacks me with no Tom Tower. Eagle is not going to knock you below 5 HP with a recon, typically. So you're going to get five knocked down to 5, you're going to capture, and then you can capture the turn after. Max recon's other hand, you have a good shot, it's going to knock you down to 4 HP. So it's going to take you 3 more turns to cap rather than just 2. So... You typically don't see as many Eagle Recons, but Reimer does actually opt to go for the Recon Mirror. And actually, I was quite happy to see this, because I will have enough funds to pump out a tank the next turn. But one thing it does force me to do is it does force me to not be able to put a tank up here next turn. I'll have to put my tank down here, slog through these two forests over here to get to the middle and protect my infantry. But having a Recon down here, he will not be able to build a tank, so this Reiki is gonna be freaky. This is gonna be one freaky ass Reiki. It's gonna do whatever the hell it wants and more. There's no tank anywhere in sight for quite a few turns, at least two to three turns. So, my recon is gonna, ooh, it's gonna get freaky. No, 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 that's not happening. My recon is locking him down. Good start for me so far. I was happy to see his recon. Worth noting, first seven, eight turns we did live. I was like, I'm feeling feisty, dude. I've, we've been playing this since July 2022. I want to just win this or end it or whatever. I just want it to be over because this has taken up a lot of my mental space. And I just, uh, I, I just want to keep going. So luckily this tank does cap cost, uh, does protect this infantry if he does choose to attack. But it looks like this Riki might just plop here. Might try to stop from me capping that as well. So this recon's gonna have a little bit of utility, not quite as much as mine, but it will have a little bit of utility. And I, I just do a little beep beep down there because I want to protect this, protect or attack this. Excuse me, not attack, but threaten this, threaten this, threaten this. This re this guy cannot go anywhere because I will attack him. This tank is only gonna go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So literally, my recon is fine. But well, you know, on this channel, we don't like recon and recon violence. And I have the option. Do I want to attack his recon here? Or do I want to just attack an infantry? If I attack this infantry, it's pretty much free. You know why? Because this tank can't reach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack this, free hit. Oh, one more thing. Regarding calm towers. Calm towers aren't as important to Max as they are to Eagle. Why is that? Max is already going to be getting two hit KOs with tanks on tanks on cities. Two tanks hitting a two, another tank on a city will one hit KO at 100% of the time with Max. That's just how calculations work. The 20% firepower, that is the cutoff. If you have 10%, you have like a, I don't know, a 33% chance of two hit KO. I'll put up a graphic. For Eagle, the comp tower is much, much, much more important to have than Max. I'm already getting my two hit KOs. I already have that huge firepower. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna give up my comp tower, but it's not as big a deal to me as it is to Eagle. So, notice how I'm not really prioritizing this comp tower. My infantry might even move over here and, uh, and try to capture this instead. You know, comp tower is not a priority. I'm going for this before I'm going for the comp tower, if you might have noticed. Just makes more sense for Max. And I don't go for recon and recon violence. I'm true to my word. Some people are like, oh yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> beep, beep. Then they just start attacking with recons. Like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, they need a fix. They're like, oh yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and then they start doing it. And then he interrupts me, like I said, a five. I don't give half a shit about that. But now he tries to overload. He has the tank here. He's got two infantry capping. I can only stop one with the Riki. My infantry can stop him here, but my tank can't swing up to here to the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can attack here, get a nice first strike with my tank. So we'll see how it goes. Also notice, 
I'm going straight for that comp tower over here. And I do not really like that artillery for him. I mean, I love it for me, but I didn't quite understand why he built an artillery that turn. I guess he really wants to bust with the pipe scene ASA Pizzle. Uh, otherwise, it just doesn't make much sense. It's I have to slog all the way over here. It's kind of an open area. There's some choke points down here, but it's not really worth choking all this off just to get a simple comm tower. I'm gonna be pumping out copters soon enough. So you don't really want uh, artillery on the copter side because I can weave in and out of the mountains and rivers. And he doesn't even try to get the pipe seam. He just brings it down there. Trying to get this free or get this comm tower easier when I do have this tank pressure over here, I guess. Honestly, I would have got a tank, but I understand because my tanks are stronger than his tanks. Even if he strikes first and my tank has like on the uh, forest over here and he attacks from a road, my tank will win. Spree Virtue of Max. That's the power of Max, baby. 20% extra firepower on all your vehicles, direct uh, attack vehicles. So, feeling pretty good so far. What does my Riki do? I opt. I could go hyper, guys, if I could attack here, kill that, attack here. I, I actually don't opt to do that. Instead, I opt to do this and I got a bad roll right here. Usually he goes down to four, kind of got a little shitty roll, it, it happens. But I have my little tanky poo over here and I actually do interrupt both of them. Okay, maybe I was feeling hyper aggressive, I forgot. This was live. Um, so, he kills off my recon pretty easily. Oh, well now he does. He goes for the cap and he stops me from killing his tank in one hit, or not tank in one hit, but stops me from attacking his tank because he does not have a chain. It will not reach this, so I will get a first strike. I will do a lot of damage to him, uh, but he's blocking me there. So smart tactics by Rimmer, but his recon's gonna get obliterated. Like, it won't even be pretty. It's gonna be 100% dead Riki. And I think that's what I do. I attack that Riki. Once you do that, once you get freaky with the Riki, I'm, you know, it's, it's dead. Bye-bye. Boomba. Not even close. That's the power of Max, baby. And I have a comp tower, 30% extra firepower on my tanks, 30 extra firepower on my copters over here. We're not playing around. And now, oh, not yet. We have 14k, but we got the copters streaming in. I love copters on this map. Another thing about two base maps, you want a lot of copters. Now, why is that? Because your unit count is low. You have two bases to produce them rather than the usual three. So to compensate for less units, you want to build more stuff from your airports. You can build three units a turn rather than just two from the bases. So typically, two base maps, I pump out copters a lot more than I normally would in, in normal situations. So, I interrupt this cap. Almost kill him. Honestly, why did... Okay, yeah, if there was a recon here. I was about to say, like, why didn't I kill that and then attack the tank? But there was, the, there was a recon there. I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not making dumb moves in my game. I think I took my time for a little bit. Tax infantry free head, sort of, but it stops his cap right in his tracks. Yeah, that's not gonna be an easy cap for him either. And this is these are both the Riki. I mean it's dead, but it did its job. Prevented this, this, and this. He and this. So, you know, three of these four contested properties that should be in his control stopped three of them. That's pretty damn good for a Riki, if you ask me. So I love that day three week and he's being super Passover. He's not trying to cap this. He's trying to prevent me from capping it. Even though it should be his, he's like, oh, just oh, don't hurt me. Oh, my copters are angry. Antair, you're going to take a while to get over. You're going to slither down here, slither up here. My copter is going to be in the middle over here, attacking over here. The cop, this has to decide, am I going to go down here or am I going to go in the middle? If he goes down here, my copter's going up. If he goes down here or if he goes up here, my copter's going down this way. So. You're gonna force multiple anti-air, you're gonna have to force some copters coverage. He's gonna bring that down to defend his units. Copters are good on this map. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, all right, Bisque, you going up or you going down? Wherever you're going, I'm going the other way. Basically I challenge him, I'm meeting him face to face. I'm like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's what my copter says. That's what my copter sounds like. I talk to my copters uh, before I go to sleep every night. And they always say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm capturing this. Even though it's not mine, I want it. Simple as that. I mean, you can interrupt this infantry. <laughs> I'm going to blow that to smithereens. You can interrupt this tank. I'm going to blow that to smithereens. This copter is defending that tank. You don't want to attack that tank. Trust me. And this tank is going to cover that tank, too. You can bet your ball sack on it. These three tanks. You do. Ooh, three max tanks and a copter. All of them perfect coverage. I basically can see this, this city right here. I'm like, all right, you know what? I can't realistically control all, like, a four of these, but I want these two. 
You can have those too. You're not getting that for, for God's sake, but still. And I get to 15K is at 13K. So I want to keep him below uh, 16K. Yeah, I need him at least below 16K. Ideally to 14K. Because that's only two tanks a turn. And if he has any repairs, he can only afford one tank. Any repairs at all. With 14K, he can only afford one tank a turn. So ideally, we don't have to worry about that. But he centralizes his copter. Doesn't do any attacks. Goes for the, the capture over there. Very passive artillery, but he wants to bust open the pipe scene, that's why. Now he's not even guarding this property. And I'm like, all right. But he is protecting it with this copter over here, so I can't just get a free hit. Because this is out of range, but the copter is blocking me. I'm getting near a power. Capture my proppy. Attack with my tank over here. Now you might be thinking, uh, Deej, that literally can be attacked by a copter. It can be attacked by this tank over there from the HQ. What are you doing? And honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> I attack with my copter, so I'm being hyper aggressive here. I think I want to prevent, I wanted to guarantee this capture right here, and I just went balls to the wall. I think that's my only excuse right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm being a little too aggressive right here. To be perfectly honest, in retrospect, I don't know why I'm attacking into this. I guess I thought that I can start a copter attack. Oh, uh, I know why I did this. I'll show you why. This copter can kill this copter, but this copter backs it up. And this is cut off. It can't go past here without getting through these two tanks over here. So this is, is where is this gonna go, on the city? And then my tanks can kill it. This is scared, it can't go and, and go up here and hide behind here and kill the copter later on. This is a scared anti-air, it's, I've cut off the supply lines. I'm controlling this area over here. You can't just go in here. You, you may go to the missile silo, that's his best bet. So I'm starting a copter attack. So he attacks with one copter, I kill with my copter, it's gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And like I said, he's eagle. I want to take pieces off the board. This is like chess, when you're ahead, when you're max, you wanna take pieces off the chess board. Well, yeah, when max plays chess. But you know, when you're ahead, less and less pieces make it better, less dynamic. You can just, your advantage is so much stronger with less pieces when you're playing versus eagle. So I'm like, put on the pressure, maybe not 100% accurate, whatever, but, it, it's fine. So his tank attacks my tank. Actually, has a pretty damn good roll right there. I guess, you know, it happens. But he goes in, and I'm actually encouraging him. Like, hey, man, do you. And he does put it on the silo over here. But I have a max power in waiting. And I'm going to capture this. As a result of all that pressure, if you look at my former videos, when you attack, you want to get something out of it. What am I getting out of this attack? Well, I'm getting rid of a few units, and I'm capturing this, and I'm capturing that. The goods the loot that I score from this attack, per se, are these two captures. And with those two captures, I have 17k. So maybe it wasn't the best attack ever. Maybe it wasn't the best. However, I'm getting some loot out of this bitch. The loot's coming. The loot's coming, baby. Copter, copter tank inf. Copter tank inf, baby, every turn. Boomba. We're looking good. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I have a lot of infantry. The infantry walls are coming in. Copter goes on copter violence. Like I said, he brings me down to one. I bring him down to one. However, he is uh, going to kill that. So, yeah, it wasn't the best. I, I, I thought I could scare it off, but it could it could hide on the silo over here. Unfortunately, I thought it might be have, have to go on the planes, but he had enough of a counterattack. But honestly, and I'm, I'm a little over here. I'm just, hey, buddy, don't mind me. But if you ever get your ass out of here, and you two, I'm capturing that one turn. It's gonna chill there for however long it needs to. These infantry, you don't want them to be passive. You want them to be threatening. It's not doing anything per se, but a threat is there. It is tying his infantry there. It is tying his tank or whatever over here. This infantry can't move out of range of this. We're also getting a free comp tower. An eagle without a comp tower is like taking your dog to the vet. Snip, snip, it's neutered. Eagle without any comp towers, attacking a max tank with 40% firepower. I don't care if you're attacking first. Max tank is winning. That's a strong ass tank. And that's before the power. That's before the superpower. My goodness. I really want those two comp towers. So, not for my benefit per se, but for his detriment. Eagle without the comp tower is much better for me than max with two comp towers. You know what I'm saying? So I want that. I want, I'm going double tanky though. So, see what Rhyme, Rhymey does. Kills off my copter, saw that coming. Boom, 
Tax my tank. Tax the tank. What a little weak, what little weak little tank he's over here. He tries to capture that property. He tries to capture that property in my face with a superpower. We'll see how it goes. Pretty decent defense, though. I mean, this it's going to be hard to reach this artillery. He's got a copter blocked by this 1HP copter. You thought 1HP copters were useless? Nope. They're great blockers. This copter over here has got backup for this copter as well. Even if I do break through, he will be able to attack me back. So not a, not a very bad defense at all. He's got more unit count. Let's look at the steady poos real quick. I've got more deaths than kills, but it is his turn. So we'll, we'll see how the damage is afterward. Don't use my superpower. Healing up my units. Patience. Not using it. If you watch my videos, I preach every day. Hold your powers till they're good. Don't just slam down. Oh, I see the power. Super power, power. No. Unless you're like Drake, Olaf, maybe Hawk. Global damage. Sure. But if you have powers that give you movement bonuses, firepower bonuses, healing bonuses, what, etc. Hold it till it's good. Hold it till it's good. That's like what separates the great players from the best players. Even some great players smash that power button. I've seen it even at 1400 level. They just smash the power button. I need to win. I need to Dude, the threat is still there. If you hold on to that power, your opponent's going to be like, whoa, whoa. He might use it next turn. Whoa, he might use it. They always have to take into account when you could possibly use the power. Could he use the superpower? Would he use the power? I could use one power, then a power maybe two turns from now. I could use one big superpower. Hold it on. Hold on to it. But I'm not going to let... The thing is, I cannot allow him to get his superpower before I get my superpower or I just lose. That's the thing versus Eagle. If Eagle gets a superpower before you get a power or a superpower, you lose. Simple as that. Unless, like, you literally killed all of his units. Because if he has no damage done to him via powers, he's going to unleash the biggest Eagle superpower you've ever seen. So, I'm going to make sure he does not get a power. And look at the, I do little joins. Look at, look at these little joinies over here. I got... I guess I wanted an extra infantry. I didn't want a base skip. There you go. Beautiful. Just to get that extra budster over there. Feeling pretty good. Out of range. He cannot sack his copters because this is out of range, but this is covering both of these tanks with the power. So it's not not too bad. I do have the income lead still. 17,000 to 14,000. Honestly, I'll take that any day. Uh, 3k on a low income base. Like I said, 14,000? Look, any repairs at all, even in infantry, can't afford two measly tanks. Can't afford two tanks. He can afford an artillery and a tank. He has to combine a copter, which is a great blocker, so you don't want to combine it. And then you can build a tank like it's not ideal. So let's see what he does. Rhymer backs up a little bit. He, he, he cocoons. He's a little cocooner. He doesn't. He knows the Deej Storm is coming. Like I said, I'm holding on to the power. He's like, "Whoa, oh, oh, is he gonna use it this turn? Don't hurt me!" Yeah, because I might. You need to watch out. Now, let's see. No, cannot afford two tanks. Just a simple tank infantry. And he attacks the pipe seam a few times. Always glitches and stuff. But he attacked the pipe seam. He's trying to break through here for better reinforcements to his HQ. Honestly, in the long run, this is. Long term, this is good because you want to go over here. It's much quicker than going all the way down this road. And if I control this area, I'm going to pick off his units as they're trying to resupply. So this is more secure route. Uh, my his supply line is less exposed. So it makes sense in the long term, but it does take units to attack every single turn in order to do that. And now I pop my max blast. I said, you know what? I had enough. I haven't built my units yet, but I do have more unit value than him by virtue of... Let's look at, let's look at the steady boost. So I have more, and we have equal. Equal kills and deaths, the thing is total generated funds. I have a lot more total generated funds than him. Granted, it is my turn first, but I still have better current funds, but now I'm going for the superpower. Why am I going for the superpower? Honestly, it's not the best time to use it, but it's better than the last turn, and I want to get off a superpower before he gets his superpower off. I was concerned that there might be some combinations he could do. Kilt sack is anti-air, Sack some units and then somehow squeak in that su eagle superpower and just murder me. So I was paranoid. And also, I have a plan why I do it. So 
Boomba. Max is good. One hit K on the car artillery over there. I wish this was full HP because it does not quite kill off his anti-air, but it weakens it significantly. The loot. Why did I use this? The loot. He can't stop with any infantry over here. They're not going to reach this. The only way you can interrupt is with a copter, popping a scop, maybe this copter over here. These are all blocked off. Another reason why I used the superpower before on this turn, I mean, I used it on this turn, is because I get the extra percent defense. I get 10% defense whenever you pop a superpower or a CO power. Extra defense. I'm going to need that defense while he uses his superpower. So if he uses his superpower this turn, he's going to be doing 10% less damage to all my units because of my defense. And honestly, I was just like, all right, bring it on. I'm ready for the superpower. What do you got? I got three tanks and he got dead ass copter, dead ass anti He's got three tanks, but in order to get through, he's gonna have to attack two times with like a copter and then a tank, and then that can squeak through. And this tank's not even in range. Like it's, because of this pipe seam in the way, not a great time to pop a power. He could do it, but he would have to take, like I said, two two unit turns to, to bust that open. And as you can see, the glitch is real. This I swear they need to fix that. Does attack my tank, but he doesn't pop his superpower. And I was happy. Number one, why am I happy by that? First, I'm getting this property. Boomba, 18K. Now we're talking anti-air copter infantry every turn. Anti-air copter infantry. Is he's eagle, he's gonna be pumping out copters whenever he can. Number two, I can repair shit. I can pump out medium tanks as well, but I can repair shit and still afford the tank. The margin of income is not very high when 17k every turn. You can't heal anything or repair anything because then you're not going to be able to afford the copter tank infantry. But now I have a little bit extra leeway. I get that extra 1k for repairs on my infantry, on my tanks. I'm going to withdraw this and heal it rather than just sack it. You know what I mean? Like, also, when he attacks, I'm going to get power. So if he uses superpower, I'm probably going to get at least a superpower, or a CO power, probably a superpower. So I'll lose the 10% defense, but now I will gain charge when he attacks. So I wasn't feeling too bad about this. I get a free kill on this infantry over there. Well, not free, but, you know, threatening him at the top. I think I also front shift a bit. I see, look, easy reinforcements. Now that it reaches this base in one turn, I'm not attacking him in that shit. Three tanks, two copters. That's going to heal itself. That's going to heal itself. I front shift to the top. These are all going to move out of the way. There's no there's no point fighting into this. I'm going to move all my forces up here. And he can't move with me. He can't move with me unless he uses his superpower. He has to go around this way. So I'm controlling the middle by controlling the middle of the entire game. It's making it harder for him to reinforce here. It's making him harder to reinforce upward. The middle is so important. Because now he has to go around. He has to go around the outside. He has to go around the... It's going to take longer for his units. They're more exposed because they're on roads. It's just better. So having the middle is a lot of utility in this game. But I'm very cautious. I'm like, I'm expecting that superpower. All he needs to do is attack with like one infantry and he's going to have enough charge. Is he going to pop it? I was so scared. But then... Attacks my tank and I'm like, oh shit, here comes the superpower. But he doesn't use it. He wants to build it up further. He says, you know what, I got 22 units. I know I got 14k to 18k, but I want more units. I only have three full HP copters. I only have uh, approximately four or five tanks. I need more units before I use it. And I was like, all right. Honestly, right here, I think I could have attacked into this tank because these are so out of position and it's hard to move up here. I think I should have just KO'd this tank and started capturing that. Like, I think I should have wrapped this copter around, killed it with the tank, captured this, moved my anti-air up so his copter can't get a free hit. Honestly, I probably should have just started capturing that in retrospect. Like I said, copter, tank, anti-air all cut off here because I have control of the middle. So if I bring everything up here, it's going to take him a long time. I mean, I might be he might be kept giving up this, but I will get a uh, power after and probably prevent it. So honestly, I should have attacked up here. But I was so scared of the powers. You know, I'm not the only one who's making people scared of the powers. I'm scared of Eagle Superpower himself. He's holding on to the power as well. He's demonstrating extreme patience. This is Reimer. He's a top player. Top one in Fog currently. You know, I think he's beaten Gobasaur, maybe? I don't know. He's strong. He's very strong. So, I'm not taking him lightly. I'm, I'm scared. I'm building infantry walls. 
And I was deathly. I was honestly scared he was gonna use it this turn. I was like, oh shit, he's gonna use a copter. Boom, boom. And then he's gonna kill off my anti-air, kill off my copter over here. But I have, I have a pretty decent infantry roll. It's not the best. I have one little hole in it with this tank, but it is on the uh, three uh, defense star terrain. And I start busting through this because I'm like, hey, he busted through his pipe stand. It's might as well, like, I got a copter chain. Like I said, look at these copters. One, two. Let's look at the count. He's got five tanks, five copters, two anti-air. I got nine tanks, five copters, one anti-air. So we have the same amount of copters. Granted, one of them is his one HP. So I have one more copter than him. And I have four more tanks than him. Three more tanks if he, because this one's garbage. So I'm doing very well in, in the... Uh, unit value and unit count because I'm pumping out a copter every single turn I should have more count I'm already at 31 to 25 but I can't let him proliferate so I'm at, I'm like okay I like the income but is it enough is 4k income enough for me to be pussyfooting around with eagle I really don't want to build up a superpower but I have my infantry wall I'm scared to death I'm like I don't even know what to do I'm stalling I'm like uh where do I attack do I try to capture that um, do I just try to prevent him from capturing that? Uh, I didn't really know what to do. But then I had a little tactic over here. Remember this guy? This guy's glued to the city. He can't allow this capture, right? Well, how about now? That guy. Everyone forgot about him. Maybe I even forgot about him. He was just waiting to strike. This is the power of threatening infantry. They're not passive, sitting on the city. Oh, you're eating at a, you know, Italian restaurant. Mm, this is really good for you. Uh, risotto. No, not just hanging out in the city over here. F that. We're capturing a calm tower. This is war. This isn't restaurant week. We're not doing that. It's not rummage around in the dumpster eating Subway. Like, no, we're not doing that shit. The only way he's gonna interrupt this now, he has to pop the superpower. He has to pop the superpower in order to stop me. And like I said earlier, getting the comp tower. It's not about me getting the extra uh, firepower. It's about depriving him of that extra 10% firepower because his units are going to be weak, really weak versus my units. So I'm forcing him the superpower. So I, therefore, I, I prepare. I'm like, okay, super wall. Boom, do, 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 do. You have to attack an infantry before a vehicle. This tank can attack my tank. That's not going to work. This anti-air can go over here and kill off my copter. Well, I'm going to move that copter. Oh, I moved over here. That's why you didn't see it. Look, this is a really hard to break through. Not just one level of infantry. You're going to have to break through two levels of infantry to even attack my units. Then I have defense. I have HQ defense. I have terrain defense from the forest. I have cities, city force. All my tanks are in defensive terrain. Every single tank is on defensive terrain except for this tank over here and this one back here. All of them, cities, forest, HQ, what have you. Copters blocking everything. This is suicide. I don't care if you have an eagle superpower. If you attack into this, that's suicide. You might be able to break through, but then I'm getting at least a CO power, probably a superpower, and then you're gonna have the full wrath of the units that survived. So I was wondering, I was like, okay. Honestly, I hope he pops a superpower. This comp tower is important, but not really that important. Look at the unit value. 40,000 more. And 40,000 is a lot, right? But when you look at this, this is 40% larger. 40% larger. This is not, oh, we have each have 340,000 and he has 300,000. No, this is 100,000, 140,000. This is a big ass deal. Let's look at the amount of units. Six copters, nine tanks, two anti-air. Six tanks, two anti-air, five copters. One of them's weak, so it's really four. I was hoping he'd use his superpower here. Will he use it? That's a good sign for me. Does not use the superpower. And honestly, I was a little disappointed. I, want, I wanted to lure him to the superpower. I was like, this is a big deal, but it's not a huge deal. I want him to use it, but he didn't. Now I have 4K income advantage. More units, more firepower, more everything, but he has a superpower. And he made one mistake right here. He left his tank out for me to hit. Blunder. You know why? I want to trade off units. I want to keep trading until I get a superpower and beat the shit out of him. I don't want him to be using a superpower before I use my power. 
So what I'm gonna do? Oh, I combine first off to I guess to build something. Combine my little tanky poo right here, because yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, to get my seventeen thousand. But it basically reshuffle more infantry, even more infantry into my wall. It's shifting downward, and this is just replaced by another unit. That's, that's basically it. It's like nothing happened. He's gonna kill that. Then I'm gonna kill that. Kill that. Trade off. Trade off. Like chess. Kill off units. Take units off the board. Perfect for me. And you can attack this. Go ahead, boy, over here. Attack me from a road. 40% extra firepower from a road. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't gonna like that. It's day 18, by the way. I should mention one thing. Capture limit. I believe it's at 30. Day 30, whoever has the most properties wins. Doesn't matter if you have one single unit. Doesn't matter if you have a billion units. Whoever has the most properties wins. So, 12 days. We're more than halfway there. If I can just hold on to this property advantage, I'll win. No biggie. And he attacks with the copter over here, which I think was also a blunder. You'll see why in a second. Attacks my infantry over with the copter. It's a free hit. I'm not, I don't have a power yet, so I can't do anything back, but I don't really mind. Start shuffling back, withdraw my tank to heal. I don't attack with my anter, I attack with my copter. Now, why is that? more charge when this dies. This is When this dies, I'm gonna get 9k. If this dies, I get 8k. And another thing, I can pump out a copter every single turn. I have been pumping out copters every single turn. Anti-air are harder to pump out every turn because I want infantry in bases, I want tanks and stuff. So I, I, I'd rather throw away a copter than I would rather throw away an anti-air, that's why. Because I'm gonna build a copter this turn, sure enough. You should see one right here, and this copter is actually protecting this tank. This copter is protecting all these tanks. It's probably going to move anyway. I busted the pipe scene, by the way. I didn't mention that earlier. Build a medium tank, because I'm like, hey, I, I guess I got to tech up. I got 60,000 more in income advantage, or in, in unit value than he does. If I build a medium tank, without a comp tower, I think it's going to take four copters to kill it, unless it's on a road. If I put that medium tank on a city, it's going to take four copters to kill it. So it's not going to die easy. It's going to need to be killed by artillery, or he needs to invest in a medium tank. He needs to invest in a bomber. He can't afford a bomber, though. Let's be honest here. 14,000? So my infantry walls continue. I'm contemplating. I'm like, all right, throw this away. Just throw something in the abyss. Yeah, lose it. Okay. Lose that copter. I don't care. There you go. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Lick my lips. Beautiful right in tank range. That should bring me close to a power. And granted, he has a lot of units. And let me add, let me add, the first eight turns we did live, not much move planner. The past 10-ish turns, a lot of move planner. I've made sure my walls are strong, I made sure my units have overlap, make sure everything, if something is attacked, I'm gonna have something powerful to attack back. Look at these levels of entry, I make sure things are zoned, like this anti-air can't reach my copter, after two turns like this uh, entire can't reach my copter after two turns everything is very calculated everything is proper why do i mention that because you'll see tank gets a hit off once this tank dies i have a co power so i'm feeling pretty good bring my copters in still holding on you know just shuffling in some units slowly moving forward slowly moving forward just inching towards protecting that extra tank Look at this wall right here. Beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. This is the Great Wall of China right here. Look at that. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. All infantry. You're not killing any vehicles. You're not attacking any vehicles without wasting turns killing infantry first. And it's going to take two turns to kill it. He has nothing that will one shot hit my infantry. Maybe this anti will one shot this infantry. That's it. But I have multiple layers. So it's, uh, it's difficult. He attacks with his artillery, gets me to my power range, and holds back. Builds a copter. Now, 40 units to 33. At the beginning of the game, I warned. I said, Eagle gets above 30 units. You're screwed. Eagle is very strong with that many units. And I largely agree. However, in this instance, I have two comp towers. In this instance, I have 4K income advantage, uh, which is not a lot in normal terms, but this is a low income map, which is very expensive or very uh, hard to buy things. He has eight tanks. I have nine and a medium tank. He has two anti-air, I have three anti-air. 
He has six copters, I have seven copters. And this is the part, part turn I lost it. Not only in the sense where, I'm gonna put the glasses on. I didn't move planner this turn at all. I think I could have won this turn if I properly planned it out, but I was feeling cocky. I tell you guys, the games I lose or the games where I get cocky, I think I'm gonna win. Oh, I can't lose. I, I already won this. I felt like that. I was like, oh, I already won. Don't worry about it. In reality, this game is not over. This was a suboptimal attack. Honestly, I could capture the HQ if I play my cards right. Copter kills this, anti air kills this, tank thing blocks all this shit off, and I can capture the HQ and almost win. He would have to devote a copter and maybe a tank in order to stop an HQ cap, which is great because I wouldn't get it, but it would force two units to, instead of attacking my units, focus on an infantry. First things first, that's not a one shot, but it will be killed off the infantry over there. It's not a big deal. Copter comes in one shot. So this is subpar. I'm just going to say it out loud. It's, it's not great, but it is what it is. It's not beautiful. And I wish this was one hit KO, then this would be great, but it's not. I checked, it's not even a roll, but I was feeling feisty. I just want to weaken all his units as much as possible before he uses superpower. Do not capture the HQ like I should have, which is, you know, whatever. Boomba. Weaken off his tank. I mean, this is scary, right? But you'll see the power of an Eagle superpower. I have extra defense, I have extra offense, I have extra everything. I have a lot of units. I built a T-Copter, like I said, I was feeling cocky. I was like, uh -huh, I won this game. Yeah, who gives a shit? 80,000 more in unit value? <laughs> with with what, zero comp tower though? Who's, who's this Rhymer guy? Eagle? Huh, never heard of him. 16 units, oh, let's look at the stats. Let's look at the stats. Look, I got 20 kills, six deaths, generated funds, 50,000 more. What, like? <laughs> Easy. Good game. No chance. No re. And Rhymer, he took his time. I might add that during this game, we have start off with five days, and after that, you get like one day per turn you make. I have about 22 days in the bank, so every time I make a turn, I spend at least, or I spend at most maybe two hours. Oh, this turn, I think, it made in 15 seconds or 15 minutes. Like, it was not planned. I just went, Ooh, and just bashed in, barreled in like Donkey Kong, all right? Not even Donkey Kong, like Lanky Kong or Kooky Kong or whatever the Kongs are. King Kong, for all I know. Um, so I just went all in, beat my chest like a drum, and ch charged in. Rhymer, he waited till there was like a couple of these turns, I think a few turns back. He waited till, like, I think this turn right here, he waited till there was like nine minutes left. Nine minutes until he lost. And I have 22 days until I lost. So he was taking his time. But now, Rhymer's like, okay, I've been disrespecting this whole game. I'm Eagle. I made it to the semifinals. He's beaten six players as well. He's not playing around. He says, all right, Deej, it's on. It's on. You have 80,000 more? Okay. Boomba. He is a counter Boomba, not a Boomba, he is a counter Boomba. Attacks my tank. Kills off. Weakens my infantry now, kills it off. Tank slithers in and gets a hit on the infantry. Slithers in. Why is he doing this? So he can reach these two copters back here. That's why. And he will. He's gonna kill a lot of copters. This is already pretty devastating. I've already lost 40,000, and he hasn't even used the first one yet. And the second one is usually the stronger of the two because you get the extra firepower and extra defense and everything's more exposed. So now he comes in, kills my tank, kills another copter, kills another tank, kills another copter, weakens another copter, kills a tank, kills another tank, weakens a tank, stops my cap, heals up his units. Ouch. And I didn't get any charge either. I was dumbfounded. I came back, I was like, I know it is shitty power, but I didn't know it was that bad. Am I going to lose this game? Are you kidding me? I worked so hard for this comp and I'm flexing. I don't even have reinforced. I have two infantry and a T-copter. Dude. 
And I was like, fuss. Fust. That's not even a word, but that's what I said. I said, God dangler it. Have I just lost? I do have a lot of money in the bank because I was trolling. I, maybe I almost built a pipe run. I'm glad I didn't if I was thinking about it, but now I can build at least like a Neo tank, a bomber, a medium tank or something like, but still that hurt. And Eagle copters, after you use a superpower, they don't die easy. They will die to my anti-air, but they're not gonna die to my own copters. So that hurt. Equal units, now let's look at the stats. Remember it was 14 or 20 to six, I think. Yes, yeah, 26, now it's 2020. And the deaths are much higher, 50,000 higher because most of my kills are infantry. Most of his kills are copters. Look at that. I haven't killed a single copter. He's killed seven of mine. Granted, that's pretty much dead, and you know, these are, you know, weakened, but like, I haven't killed a single copter, he's killed seven copters. Seven times 9,000, what, 56,000 or something? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of mun-mun. <sighs> so that wasn't great. And I'm going for the HQ, okay, and here's another part. Look at all this shit. I got a one HP tank, a four HP tank. I need to retreat here. Blunder Deej mode is, is fully activated. I'm like, oh God, what am I doing? I didn't use the move planner here either. I just kind of YOLO'd it. I'm telling you, I, I, it's frustrating, but I do kill a copter, do kill another copter. It's just feisty. I'm trying to block this off so his tanks can't kill my anti over there. I mean, I'm not gonna get either of these. I don't know what I was thinking. But I build a new tank and I build a, a, a T-copter to boost these. Every turret I can boost them to the mountains and then transport them over here to the HQ maybe. Uh, but I'm not getting either of those. I might get that. I could try for that. Weaken the artillery. Could still get a shot off on my medium tank, but it has no bonuses from the comm towers. I am on a shoal, so it'll probably knock me down to six or seven. So it's not too bad. Um, and I'm back ahead in all, on, in all counts, thankfully. And he only has 9,000 because he has so many repaired had so many repairs to pay for, but like, ugh. Kills, on, kills off my uh, copter, weakens that, stops me from capping that easily. Don't know why I thought I could stop that. For some reason, does not fire onto my medium tank. I was, I was pleasantly surprised he didn't right there. Uh, weakens my artillery. And now he's up, he's still back ahead. Barely ahead in unit value. If we look at the kills, it's probably even worse now. Yes, yeah, so now it's 25 to 24 rather than 20 to 20. And remember, it was 20 to six at the beginning. Oh, so I, now I'm like, okay, I need to stop fucking around. Pardon my French or language or whatever the hell. I need to go back and heal and maintain my properties. One thing I can do, I'm capturing that. You can bet your ball sack. I'm getting 19K to 13K. I schlogged all that stuff. I'm getting my 19K. I'm getting what's mine. I don't care if I have to use these and whatever. You can weaken these off. I'm getting that. And once you're at 13, <laughs> once you're at 13K, well, there's seven days left. So that's another thing. Like I said, I lost all this shit. But the properties are what matters. He's got one full HP infantry over here, one over here, one over here. He needs to capture two properties in the next six turns seven turns he's not going to be able to do that very easily i will sack my units to prevent a cap and if i capture this he's gonna have to capture three properties so i'm having the long game in this i'm like you know what i basically kill off all my army uh but it's not over i i i blundered a lot and now i'm retreating I'm like that was so stupid why do you even think you could do that i pull back my units i bring my t-copter in Starting to pump out my units again. Now, like I said, I have 18K. But I'm getting this 100%. There's no way you can get past this. You can maybe kill those off if you're lucky rolls. Probably not, though. Attacks, attacks. I think that still lives without any comp towers. Nowhere near a superpower, at least. I have a power. This new tank is coming in. This medium tank is impossible to kill without using these two. Maybe these copters, but they're all the way over here out of position. And I have three anti air protecting the medium tank. So if he attacks with three copters and weakens it significantly to one or two HP, all three of those copters are dying. So I'm feeling pretty decent about that. I'm back in the unit value, uh, back in the unit count, back ahead in unit value, back always ahead in uh, income. 
And I'm on the defensive over here and the offense over here. Like I said, when you're playing advanced war, it's just like a piston. If you attack somewhere, you pull back elsewhere. You don't attack on all fronts at once, unless you're doing that deadly push like I do with the superpower, or that deadly push you do with the CO power, or uh, eagle superpower. But he goes in. He attacks all my units down here, and I was like, what the hell? Goes in, attacks my damn T-copter. In my book, that's a war crime. You kill off my T-copter? Oh, it's war. Oh, it's more than war. It's more than advanced wars. It's that's Geneva Convention bullshit right there. Kills off my infantry. I'm like, uh, okay, a little strange. Kills off my infantry. I mean, he's killing my units. I was like, okay. Builds a copter. Builds infantry. And resigns. He just wanted. He knew he couldn't win, but he wanted to get 100 in unit value higher than me. Just to say, hey Deej, he went in the chat after, he's like, good game, but guess what? I got more units than you, and I got more unit value than you. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't care. Look, I just wanna win, man. So uh, yeah, that was intense. I blundered quite a bit. Like I said, it all started when I stopped using the move plan. Look at this beautiful wall. Toulouse, go seven. Raka, Voice of Akasha, they'd be happy to have this kind of gameplay. I played pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty played, pretty played, played pretty damn good up to day 21. I think I did very well. Maybe I could have done better by capturing this earlier and forcing the CO, Super CO power earlier, but I got both Calm Towers versus Eagle. This is Rhymer we're talking about, so I felt pretty damn good. But then the Baboons came out, then the zoo doors were ripped open and all the monkeys started streaming out. Like, look at, like, no care in the world. Like, I missed so many two hit KOs. Like, these aren't even attacking. These, like, die later on. If you're not attacking, like, why am I even throwing these in? They're not even doing anything. They're just here. They're like, uh, are you gonna hit me? Are you gonna hit me? Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Nothing. They're just free hits and kills. Like, what? what? I, I, I had these. Just zero thought process. Like I said. I hate when I get ahead by a lot, because that's when I play my worst. Uh, I allowed him to get back into it. I think there might be something in the back of my head that's like, all right, you don't want to win easily. You want a fun game. You don't, you're not playing to win, you're playing for fun. And maybe, maybe there's like that voice in the back of my head, and maybe that's why this got a lot closer than it would should have been. Um, and honestly, I'm kind of glad it got close. If I won by HQ cap on that turn, like right here, imagine like I'm capping here, and this is all perfect, this is capped. I have like a wall of shit. Maybe I, maybe I don't even attack up here. Maybe I just destroy everything here. And I HQ cap. And if I don't win that turn, I capture again and I combine and then win the next turn. And that's very viable and I probably could have won that way. Much easier. But part of me is like, look, I want a fun game. That was fun. I mean, it was bashing bedrooms, bashing each other's brains out. That was fun. But yeah, we let the max power on, baby. Ooh! Felt good, baby. And now, we're on to the finals. I don't even know who I'm facing. Dead FS or Toulouse. Both these guys, they're better than me. But, like I said, I play worse when I'm the overdog, better when I'm the underdog. So anything's possible. You can bet, you can bet certain body part. I'm gonna prepare for this next battle. It's gonna be a good one. I'm not gonna bend over and let him win easy. Mm -hmm. I slogged with this tournament. I fought my damnedest. Maybe I babooned up a little bit at the end there, but I fought my damnedest in this tournament. July 2022, I've been fighting for, God, I don't know, 10 months or some shit, nine months. This is a hard ass game. I put a lot of time in this shit. I'm not losing. I'm going in. I'm gonna win that shit. I'm gonna get the little pixel trophy next to my name on advancedwarsbyweb.com. I got me of that little pixel trophy that says Discord 11 winner, bisque. Says, yeah, I beat Toulouse. Yeah, I beat DeadFS. Yeah, I beat Go 7s whatever, who the hell. I beat them all. I beat them all. Yeah, that's what I want to do. The trophy will say that in much fewer words. But anyway, hope you guys learned a lot from this game. I learned a lot from this game. I think I played pretty good until that point. Don't take the rest for what it was. I think I played, if you want to learn about infantry walls, this is a pretty good example of how to use infantry walls, especially versus Eagle. In other 
news, don't, don't do what I did. But anyway, I hope you guys were entertained. Hope you guys learned a lot. And uh, I'm looking forward to hosting the Discord 11 finals of all 20, 128 top players. The finals is coming to my channel. And I can't wait. Doesn't matter who I'm facing, to lose or DeadFS. Oh, a banger's coming. A banger's coming. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.